Hey everyone, Corey here, and today I was going to make a tutorial on how to make my background, but uh, yesterday I saw a few videos of people slowing down their clips on Call of Duty, and they did it wrong, so that means that most people don't know what they're doing, and uh, including Woody's Gamertag, I left a comment, and uh, he actually replied to me, um, but I'm going to show you guys the proper way to do it, and then I will make a tutorial on how to make this uh, as soon as this video gets to a thousand views, and I am sorry that I'm delaying this video. But I will make it, but I, I just want you guys to know how to properly slow down your clips. Um, because the way you guys do it, well, you know, most of you do it right. But the way some of you guys do it, it looks like, uh, it sounds like crap. And I'll show you why, you're, uh, what you're doing wrong and all that. So let's open Vegas, Sony Vegas. Um, I use Sony Vegas 8, 9 is the same, and all that stuff. So we're going to input our clip. Now, uh, just so I can't, I'm not like using copyright stuff, I'm going to use a clip of Greg Ollieing. Um, as soon as you put in your clip, um, it's probably going to be like a no scope, quick scope, whatever you're going to slow down. Make sure you go to properties first and then disable resample. Um, also, if you're using like standard def, you can go to maintain aspect ratio, stretch it, it'll look okay. But uh, there, so you want to make sure you disable um, the resample. And now I already did it, so you can't really tell. But if you don't do it, your guy will be really blurry uh, or what, well your gun you know it just makes it look better it look, makes it look less blurry you can't really tell on a game but uh... when you do it in like on real life videos uh... you can tell a lot so uh... it's just better kevin got on it's just better to do uh... do it on everything uh... so right here we're gonna find out where we want to slow it down uh... we're gonna slow it down to uh... right before he goes off so we want to cut it right here and again this isn't the best clip but uh... you guys are gonna be doing it on call of duty videos mostly so and then go to after he lands it now uh, <clears throat> then all you want to do is hold down control get to the side you see the little squiggly line and then drag it out as far as it'll go now uh, this is what you guys do and you guys think you're done that you're not done um, I'll play it play it right here and then I'll play it on the thing if you can hear that it sounds like crap um, so you can listen to it right now And as you can see, it sounds like crap, and it's really bad. And uh, what you want to do to fix that, uh, you're going to right-click the audio. So make sure you click the audio, make sure it's like a purplish, whatever. Right-click it, go to Properties, and then Lock to Stretch. That's all you have to do. It's one more step, and it'll change your audio so much better. Um, I'll show you real quick. Right here, as you can see, it slows down the audio. Now it's a little laggy on there, but I'll, I'll show you the video right now. And that's what it sounds like, and it sounds so much better. And also with a gunshot, it'll be like, it'll, the screechy will be even louder. Uh, so you want to make sure you do uh, the lock to stretch, and it'll make it boom. But uh, just for another tutorial, I'm going to show you some other stuff like um, speeding up and um, reverse. So uh, make sure you put in your another clip, disable resample right there. Just go to pro right click properties. And now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll up to uh, right before he goes off the jump. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna undisable the resample, and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, so uh, right here, right before he goes off the jump, we're gonna split it. Now this is the part we're gonna fast forward. Now you can hold down Control and drag it the whole way to the left, but that's gonna be really fast, and it's probably gonna look bad. Control Z. So what I like to do is I like to select the whole clip, see how long it is down here. It's uh, four minutes and ten seconds. So I'm gonna split it in half. I'm gonna go half of it. So just drag it the other way. And then like two five, and then control, and then drag it to the line. Uh, that way, you know you're getting half. It's just half as fast, and it doesn't look as bad. Now, if I play it, uh, you can see. Oops. All right, it lagged a little. Um, you can see that he gets a little blurry. Maybe not, um, because I already disabled the resample before I saved the video. But he would have been really, really blurry. So just make sure you disable the resample. And there we got fast forward. And that's what uh, this is what it's gonna look like. And now uh, for one more tutorial, I'm gonna show you reverse. So um, find out where you want it to go in reverse, uh, like your clip. So um, we're gonna go right here before he ollies. Oops. Eh, right there. We're gonna split it. We're gonna go to where he lands, like that. We're gonna drag this away. We're going to click it, oops, not there, we're going to click it, copy it, uh, control C or right click and then just go to copy, then we're going to put it right 
here, control V. And then what you want to do is you want to click it and then uh, right click it. Now if they're both selected, usually you'll just have the audio the video selected. So uh, right click, reverse, and then make sure you do it on the audio as well. That way that's reverse. Or you can just click it where they're both clicked. Shift or whatever. Kevin, stop getting on. <laughs> uh, just click it and then you can uh, right click and then reverse them together. But make sure you do both uh, because if you forget the audio, it'll sound weird. And then we'll go control V and then we'll slow this part down. And then make sure you lock to stretch. Properties, lock to stretch. And then this is what it's going to look like. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Now you guys know how to slow down, speed up, and uh, reverse time the correct way. And uh, hopefully that was helpful. And again, I'll make a tutorial on how to do this and other stuff like this on um, as soon as this video gets to a thousand views so watch it tell all your friends that do it wrong because there's a lot of people um, people even people that put videos on big uh, channels like the videos I saw it on was like F gamers uh, Woody's gamer tag didn't know how to do it now he does and uh, he might see this tutorial that'd be cool so Woody if you uh, if you're watching this now you know how to do it but uh, yeah <laughs> probably won't watch it but yeah now you guys know how to do it uh, and then you guys can just add your color corrections to your videos or whatever and um, so you got to really do but make sure you lock to stretch the most important um, you can't really mess up the other thing just uh, the speed up you don't have to do anything to speed it up the vo the audio will speed itself up uh, for reverse make sure you uh, reverse both not just uh, the, the video or the audio and right there as you can see it's kind of blurry and then uh, disable resample would take care of that there we go there we got a thing so make sure you disable resample on everything and uh, it'll make it look a lot better um, especially if you're going to freeze time in a real picture, you want to make sure you do that. But there, as you can see, that's how bad it looks. And then just disable like that. There we go. But uh, yeah, hopefully this tutorial was helpful. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. And all you guys really have to remember is right-click, properties, lock to stretch. Talk to you guys later and have a great day.